Hello again, Red Bibbs Bill here. I just got finished with a uh, number 60 2 3 bottom plow. In other words, you can make a two bottom out of it, you can make a three. And this one's got a hydraulic lift. I have two, the one over here hasn't been long finished. That's a rope trip. I've got it set up in a two bottom configuration, but I can make it a three if I want to. This plow right here, I, I was lucky enough to find every, everything on this plow is original age, right down to the tires that I had in the day. Even this back with their fire stones on the front. The back is a Firestone. I found it out in Nebraska uh, just by luck. It was $65. It was brand new. The guy sent it to me and it had the tag on it. And in the day, the price tag was $14.75. I thought that was interesting. But anyway, everything was original. Uh, the boards, uh, gosh, there's nothing on here that isn't original. Light. It's the shares, everything. And this right here, is the kind of old, uh, I'm going to clean it up and use it. This will be the hit, the hydraulic hookup I'm going to use. They did use those in the day. And I really didn't get this plow to, uh, fixed up to plow with. It was just to show, show off. And I was also able to find original H uh, hose assemblies for it. You go on the cylinder over there. But anyway, this plow is 100% is IH. And I'm thinking I'm going to play with it a little while, show it for a while, and and we'll come over here and show you this, what we're doing here. I'm making a, I'm making a plow train. And I'm sure most people around the country for me with this eight bottom plow I built. And I'm adding on a squadron hitch. And I'm going to be pulling ten bottoms for that thing, for demonstration. Uh, the way it's going to work, I know I won't be able to turn. I'll get this plow on the ground and we'll take that to cover something behind it and then hook up and go. And it's just pistol demonstrations, nothing, nothing to, to work with. And I've had pretty much everything uh, I needed to build it with. I haven't spent a dime on it yet, which is unusual for me. I got a link right here. It's one of those right there. This rod turnbuckle here come off my 710 8 bottom plow, uh, uh, land hitch plow. These are some things I had when I was doing competition plowing. This beam right here come out of a number 60 plow, worked perfect on air, and I got my clamps right here, uh, leaving it just like it is. And tomorrow I've got to drill me an inch hole right here for the drawbar, and I'll be putting this on here like this, clamping it to the uh, bar like that, and I can move it to get my front furl with like I need it. And I have to do that right thing here. I'll try to rope it on work. I might get somebody to go along beside the toilet just for demonstration purposes. And this right here, if you notice I've got the length of this drawbar out. This is an extra drawbar I had. I've got a bunch of parts for these old plows around. I went and dug through my boneyard and found this. And I found where I cut another hitch off at some time. And I'm going to take this tomorrow, cut this off here, and I'm going to weld it right there. And, uh, and do away with this one down here at the bottom. And Looking forward to trying that out. It's kind of interesting. Be something to show you. Know. But that's about all. And I haven't been working on it long. I've just stuff like this is is really handy. Uh, me and my wife, we're both kind of retired, and we sit around watching TV at night. And I'm laying on the sofa. She's watching. She's sitting in the chair, asking me a million questions. It gets me. It really my creative juice really gets running when she gets talking. It gives me something else to think about. So, anyway, <laughs> that's just me. But anyway, I'm getting ready to plow with this. Uh, we're, having, we're having the fall plow days. They're coming up here soon. And I got to uh, tune this whole thing up and go over it good. Ready to get anyway, ready this to go is just again. what I do in my spare time, play with stuff like this. And I've got to go back. I think I've got some bent beams here. I've bent them somewhere around the country this past year. I don't know where. Uh, but i got to get all this stuff straightened out and be ready for the fall plow days. I imagine we're going to have three or four this fall. And I'm really, really looking forward to the, to the fall plow days. And that's all.